Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Hollywood Studios. I came here today because I wanted to have a fun day at Hollywood Studios, but also I wanted to find out how park hopping affects Rise of the Resistance boarding groups because there's some kind of like little clause or stipulation when it comes to park hopping and getting a boarding group. So, let's go do this. Another thing that I'm excited to see is if the crowds actually drop down at 2 o'clock because that's when park hopping is allowed. So you have to be in the park until 2 and then you can go to any other park. You can do all four parks because we did that on New Year's Day itself. But does that mean it's going to drop down for like a, just a, a brief hour? Like, you know what I mean? Are people going to leave at 2 o'clock and then some people are going to come here at 2 o'clock? But there might be that time in between where rides might be a walk-on. I did actually confirm, and this is kind of like just logic, that you need to be at Hollywood Studios for your first park. So like you can't go to Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, or Epcot. You can't make a reservation for those three parks uh, uh, to plan to go there and then try to join a boarding group at 7 a.m. So it is pretty simple. There's not like a big mystery there. And that's why they moved the boarding group from uh, 2 o'clock to 1 o'clock. So 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. are the only times that you can actually get it. So I guess to make it real simple, if you plan on doing park hopping and riding Rise of the Resistance in the same day, Hollywood Studios is the place you need to make a reservation for your first park. And right now it is 1.43, so in about 20 minutes, the ability to park hop is going to be accessible to all these guests that are here. And like I said, it'd be nice to see a drop in wait times just for like maybe an hour or two, but from the looks of it, I don't think it's going to happen. Especially because Toy Story Mania is actually now queuing up at the old Toy Story Mania building. I've never seen the line out here this far and I haven't seen these doors open in a while. But this is the line for Toy Story uh, Midway Mania. Look at this, like this is where you get in line. I used to stand right here and actually just wait to go to Toy Story Midway Mania right inside those doors. That was really cool to be back there again. I'm so happy that it's opened up. It's not open for just like social gathering, uh, but I did ask if I could just take a look see in there. They're just using it as an extended queue for Toy Story Midway Mania. And it's crazy that all the incredible stuff is all back there still. I know that they shut that down, I think last year, because it was the incredible summer like celebration, but uh, they just left everything up there. So maybe it'll open back up again. But Toy Story Land is just overall busy. This is the line to get in Midway Mania, and this is the line to get in Slinky Dog Dash. Both of them are actually going all the way out there, around 50 to 60 minutes each. So I don't think that the wait times are going to drop down much at all. I also love that I'm walking around Toy Story Land with my Woody shirt from RSVLTS. These shirts are so awesome. I absolutely love this. And I actually have another Woody one and a Buzz Lightyear one that I'm gonna actually break out anytime I come to Hollywood Studios now. And wow, even Alien Swirling Saucers is at a 40 minute wait. And the queue is actually outside. Oh, the queue is actually running right into Smuggler's Run, it looks like. Look at, they just have like a little separation point right here to here. Wow. It is a very busy day. It is a Sunday. So we'll just see if these actually drop down by 2 o'clock, which is not too far away. And for now, I think I'm going to go get something to eat and give it some time so that we can see if the wait times die at 2 o'clock. And there's a place that I've been actually wanting to eat for a while. The famous original Pizza Rizzo. The best pizza on the planet. A lot of people say it's the worst pizza on Disney property, but I don't think there's like any standout pizzerias on Disney property. A couple good restaurants can sling a pie, but nothing like that hometown family owned and operated pizzeria. So we're gonna get something to eat here and who can go around with some pizza? I'm also gonna show you one of my favorite places to come sit down and relax at Hollywood Studios. This one's such a gem. And here is my pizza. 11 bucks for a three meat pizza, apple slices, and a cup of water. I think that's pretty affordable. Thank you. And now we're gonna take our pizza pie all the way up to the second level. This is one of my favorite places up here. And it's actually really quiet usually, so it'll be nice to see if it actually started getting more popular recently. Looks like it has got popular. I've had so many dancing episodes in here. It was so amazing. Always a great time hanging out here. The music, the lights, the disco ball, the dance floor. They usually don't have a table on the dance floor. Usually that's just for dancing. 
gives you a little details right here. I always call it a prom room, but it's actually a wedding room and it could be for anything, but featuring DJ Electric Mayhem playing the greatest wedding hits of all time. BYOBP. BYOBMP. Bring your own beer and pizza? Now they're playing Footloose. Oh boy. This pizza is really good actually. It's not that bad. I really do like it. I like the sausage too. Take a look at the crust and I'll about to give it a rating. Because you know, one bite, everyone knows the rules. I would probably say 4-2. I think that's fair. A 4-2. That was absolutely amazing. A little bit greasy, but I did get apples instead of a salad because now I could take my apples and maybe munch on them later. Or hopefully I don't forget about them and then I have a bunch of soggy apples in my pockets later. I only say that like that because it wouldn't be the first time that I put some apples in my pockets and then forgot about them and got home and realized I got a bunch of soggy apples in my pockets. But now it is 223. Park hopping is an option, so let's check on the wait times and see if they went down a little bit. But also, if you guys ever want to find a restroom that's pretty secluded, this one right here, hardly no one's in there. Now I think I'm just going to walk through the same way I came in, checking the wait times, so we can see if there's a big difference. It's only been about 35 minutes, but that 2 o'clock hour happened in between that 35 minutes. So let's see if that really did have a play on it. I don't know. I don't know if there's a good way to tell if it's from that or if it's just from the line going down. But we'll see. It looks like the alien swirling saucer line literally just disappeared. This was all full. Everything was full here. It was like a 40 minute wait I think it said. And now it's a 10 minute wait. Holy moly. Even though it's a great ride, that's really not a ride we can judge to see if the wait time's dropped at all. That 45 minute and that whole gigantic extended queue could have been maybe because of a cleaning. So we'll check out some other rides. That's just the first one we came on and it literally, the line literally disappeared. Toy Story Midway Mania dropped huge. It is now 40 minutes and the line is right out here. So like, that was, that's crazy. That's absolutely mind blowing. Crazy to think just about 30 minutes ago, the line to get in here was all the way back here. They did leave some of the signage up like right there, but they took away the sign holder and like it, it's all the way up front there. And uh, now it's just kind of open. So we can kind of like maybe poke around in here. I don't know. I thought that you can only go in here and just get in line. But since there's no line and they left the doors open and all the cast members that were working for Toy Story Midway Mania attraction, aren't here anymore so i guess we can just enjoy it well that makes me kind of happy right inside this door is where edna mode used to meet look at she's kind of just sitting in there can you imagine if edna mode just popped out of the corner and started yelling at me honestly out of all the character meet and greets at disney some villains can be actually intimidating to actually do a meet and greet with it edna mode is the only non-villain that I felt like it was a little intimidating because she's, you know, darling and she doesn't like the way you dress and it was a great meet and greet in there. It really was. It was fun and it was definitely creative. This is where you used to walk in. I think this was the standby line for Toy Story Midway Mania. And then on this side, I think that was the fast pass. So crazy seeing it. Now it's an abandoned, incredible celebration. But who knows, maybe they'll just bring it all back. I mean, there's no reason to keep everything up like this if they didn't have plans to. Oh wait, they're actually shutting, they're closing the gates. Oh no, <laughs> they are shutting us out. Yeah, they are shutting it down actually. So you can't just like linger down here. They said it was fine that I'm back here. There's actually other people back here with me, but they said they're just gonna close it down because they don't need it anymore. And it's so funny because when they started closing the gates, I felt like singing like Frozen. Tell the gods to open up the gate. Another really cool thing is you can see a little bit of a Streets of America scrim right there. Isn't that fancy? Wow. You can also see all the different uniforms still in there. Look at that. Isn't that really cool? I'm trying to show you. So we got Elastigirl. Then we got Mr. Incredible right here too. It's all just sitting in there really nifty. 
that was really cool to hang out back there. I don't know, I think it's opened up like that maybe during the afternoons, a lot of times, especially on the weekends. But it was just nice because that was the first time I've been able to experience a little bit of the old Toy Story Midway Mania entry. It's really nifty, it brings back memories. I guess in conclusion, after seeing the lines for Slinky Dog Dash and Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, I don't think the lines actually drop at all between two or three. You would think that they would because there's so much transit of people actually leaving and coming, but no, it just kind of stayed steady right through. It's a little strange though, when I came here on New Year's Day, the Christmas music was gone, and now it's like two days after New Year's Day, and the Christmas music's back. I mean, I'm not going to complain because I love the Christmas music, but I was just a little thrown off by it. It looks like Rock and Roller Coaster has been down all day long, so that could be a reason why some wait times are a little bit longer than expected. You know, this one is actually very popular, and the ride line for this is so long because it's very hard to socially distance in the queue, so they actually, like, extend it all the way out up on Sunset Boulevard sometimes. In fact, the cast members just told me that that's the third consecutive day that Rock and Roller Coaster has been down. So something major happened there. Wow, I didn't even notice. Hi! And speaking of the Incredibles, look at this! Here they come! Ooh, and Edna Mode. She's in her Edna Mode Mobile. That sounds funny. The Edna Mode Mobile. Hi! Oh yes, oh yes. I guess that's it for me then just a fun relaxed day here just wanted to see what it was like if I could have rode some rides I definitely would have but the lines really didn't drop down that much at all I mean they always drop down at night time like when the park is about to close but I thought maybe between like two and three or two and four even but nothing Anywho's, I still had fun just coming here, checking it all out, eating at Pizza Rizzo, seeing some characters and exploring around the old Toy Story Midway Mania entrance. That was actually a lot of fun. And now I think I'm done here. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. I still have my apples. Look at that. And they are soggy. So we'll see you next time. Bye.